Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get what you want from ChatGPT and other LLMs much quicker and faster than you do right now. So you don't have to go back and forth five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 times before you get something that you're actually happy with. It's really simple, it's really quick. This video is gonna be over in, uh, in a jiffy. Hey, but uh, before we get to that, just a quick heads up. What I wanted to do with this channel and these videos is to, in, instead of sharing, let's say, news about AI, which there's so much of that out there, the latest release from Google or uh, ChatGPT or OpenAI, I want to ignore all of that and focus entirely on how can you save time, make more money, get more customers, and have more freedom in your life with AI. So not just with ChatGPT, with any aspect of AI. And uh, every week, I want to share, at least for the next few months, just as an experiment, I'm going to share a simple tip just something simple and quick that you can use to again save time make more money and have more freedom okay so let's get into it so I've got uh, one of my chats open here in ChatGPT. this is an email I sent out to uh, the Ray chart email list this is another business of mine and so I this was the voice message that I recorded it then talks about we kind of go back and forth a bit it's asking getting uh, asking questions so I'm kind of refining it, going back and forth. We're talking about angles here. You know, I'm saying, oh, look, these ideas are trying too hard. The details don't really matter. The point is what I'm doing with this prompt, and this is what I often do when I get emails and copy from ChatGPT, is it's an iterative cycle. So it's not like I usually say, hey, write an email on this, and it comes out perfect. It's usually like it writes the email, and I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. Add this in, take this out, change this, does that. And then we go back and forth like that. Like I said, five, six, seven, even 10 times which is fine, I can do that, it just takes time to do that. So the question is, how do we get more efficient and more effective at communicating with these tools so that we can get what we want faster? So basically, I've gone back and forth for a while. You can see the scroll on the side. There's obviously a pretty big window. Like I said, the details aren't really that important. But the prompt that I wanna show you is this. This is from David Deutsch is who I first heard it from. But basically the idea is, is you can actually ask ChatGPT to help you prompt it better. So if you go back and forth like this, five times, 10 times, whatever, however long it takes you to get your thing, whatever the thing is, then you can actually turn around to ChatGPT and say, look, that took a while. How can I prompt you better in the future so we can get there quicker? In this case, I said, how can I better prompt you so we can get to where we are now the first time? And if you ask that, it'll then tell you, what it actually wants from the get-go. So give me the style up front. Tell me exactly what the content is. Tell me what the reader should feel or learn. If relevant, describe the core teaching. Then it might give you an example, right? And I could even say, look, if this is even gonna work, no, it's not gonna work there. Maybe this one will work. So I've done a similar thing here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we are in there. So turn uh, the uh, prompt into a template for the future. Right, so we're basically using, asking ChatGPT to coach us on how to use ChatGPT. You can use this, there's all kinds of different situations you could use this. There we go, so now it's done a template for it, right in the Rage Heart voice. This is a whatever topic, debunk this myth, drop this truth, core teaching, goal. So if I just started using that, I'm gonna to get to my, the result that I'm looking for a lot quicker, right? Which is what we all want. Instead of having to spend, an hour, you know, massaging it and trying to get to where, you know, get the email or get the sales copy or get the video or the ad or whatever it is, we might be able to get there in 10 minutes and 15 minutes. And then over time, as we practice this, we will become more efficient and more effective at communicating with ChatGPT and really just learning how to communicate with AI, understanding how they work, how they think, and uh, just being better at it. So if you want to see another example of this, here is another email that I did also to RayChart. So we've done an email, I said rewrite the email. May have been a past one. I don't really remember the details of this. This might have been from a while ago. So we're going back and forth, doing the email, various versions of that, changing the story around, you know, changing the PS. Let's explore number one, subject lines, right? So it's really like a very much an iterative cycle. And that's, that's how I personally use ChatGPT. But again, I've come down the bottom here and said, how can I better prompt you so we can get to where we are now the first time? So now it's saying, tell me the outcome. Don't just write an email, or say something like whatever. You can pause this if you actually wanna see it or just take that exact phrase. How can I better prompt you so we can get to where we are now the first time? You could also say something like, I'll put this in an email over here. Uh, this is great, this is exactly what I wanted, but it took too long to get here. How could I have prompted you differently to get this faster next time? 
right? So there's different ways to word it, play around with it, but this is just a really easy, simple way to, to get what you want out of chat, chat GPT with less effort and less time. Uh, tell me the outcome you want, tell me the format, tell me the vibe, <laughs> the core idea, if you already have something, goal, format, vibe, core idea. So yeah, I mean, the, it's going to give you probably a different thing to exactly what it's given me here. But yeah, the point is you can use ChatGPT to improve how you use ChatGPT, right? So have a play around with this, see how it works. The only other thing I would say is that I've noticed that when I come into ChatGPT, whatever it's for, it's an email, an ad, any piece of copy, marketing, the clearer my thinking is on the topic, the better the output that comes through ChatGPT. So if I'm all over the place, when I'm, well, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that and it's all a bit conflicting, ChatGPT gets a bit confused. So one thing I've noticed through asking these questions, I can't actually find the thread where it told me this, but it was something along the lines of when it's longer prompts can be good, but it needs to be clear, clarity. So it's like, here's the story, here's how it transitions into the pitch, here's the call to action, and it all needs to be, you know, connected. Uh, the thinking needs to be clear. And ChatGPT can help with that, but what also really helps is you being clear on what you want to get out of this, what your idea is, why it matters, why it's important, and how all that ties together, rather than just like a mess of stuff that you throw at ChatGPT, that can work too. But I find that the results are a lot better, the clearer I can be. And that's, in some ways, that's all that this is really telling you to do is to be really clear about what you want, the outcome, the format, the vibe, the core idea, if you already have something and so on. So anyway, have a play around with that. Again, the purpose of this is to help you save time, save, uh, save time, make money, get more customers and have more freedom in your life using AI tools like ChatGPT. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment below and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for listening and I will see you. I'll have another one of these in one week from today, next Friday. So stay tuned for that.